Well, people in North Glen are angry and worried about a new state mental health facility that's opening in their community. It's a tricky situation because Colorado needs more of these places. Our state is one of the worst in the country when it comes to treating mental health. We showed you the packed meeting last night where residents slammed state officials over the plan. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at what will happen at that facility and why more facilities like this will be coming to Colorado. Gabrielle Vidal is your reporter in Adams County. And Gabby, you've been following this process for weeks, and this stems from a move at the state capitol. Yeah, Michael, it's actually coming from legislation that became law two years ago with the purpose of putting more mental health facilities across the state of Colorado in areas of need. And this particular North Glen location is one of several that is expected to have 24-hour supervision and with the primary goal of re reintegrating people with mental health issues back into society. This facility in our city is not the right place. Two facilities in North Glen that have become the center of anger amongst North Glen residents. But it's also these two facilities that are arguably part of the solution to a statewide problem. They're critically important to getting people both off the street and also getting people out of the state hospital. Representative Judy Amabile is the sponsor for a House bill which established the creation of 125 mental health beds in facilities across Colorado. People who don't need to be locked down but who do need help with taking their medication, uh, help with getting to their appointments. North Glen residents argue the state's plan to house up to two sex offenders at most at a time is one too many. This is not a safe place to put registered sex offenders. But the Colorado Bureau of Investigation lists nine registered sex offenders already living half a mile or less from Stuckey Elementary. We're so much safer if people are getting better. While these facilities raise concerns for one community, Amabile says they're necessary for helping many, like her son, who suffer from mental illness. The idea that people would want for him to be left out on the street rather than to provide this opportunity. And a spokesperson for the Office of Forensic Mental Health says that they're grateful for the community coming together to voice their concerns before state officials. But they do say that the plan is to open up this facility in May and right now that there are no plans for any sex offenders to be housed there. In Denver, Gabrielle Vidal covering Call It First. Gabby, thank you. And Gabby is your reporter in Adams County. If you have a story idea for her, you can give her a call on our tips line or send her a message through our website, cbscolorado.com.